Another suburban a family morning Grandmother screaming at the wall We have to shout above the din of our Rice Krispies Can't hear anything at all Mother chants her litany of that's the litany of boredom and frustration But we know all her Suicides are fake Daddy only stares into the distance There's only so much more that he can take Many miles away Something crawls from the slide at the bottom of a dark Scottish lake Another industrial ugly morning Factory belches filth into the sky She walks unhindered through the picket lines today He doesn't to wonder why Secretaries Pout and clean like Teacups in a red light stream But all he ever Thinks to do is watch And Every single meeting With his so-called superior Is a human Kicking the crotch Something crawls to the surface of a dark Scottish log. Another working day has ended. Only the rush hour held to face. Levies in two times metal boxes Contestants in a suicidal race Daddy grips the wheel and stares alone into the distance He knows that something somewhere has to break He sees the family home now Illumined in the headlights A pair of stairs that makes his eyeballs ache Many miles away There's a shadow on the door Of a cottage on the shore Of a dark Scottish Police. That's from their Synchronicity album. That's Synchronicity number two. Hope you all enjoyed that. I've been kind of obsessed over the past couple of days. But that's beside the point because now we have an art update. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one. I oh, still haven't gotten the name of it. I'll, I should look that up and jot it down somewhere. But anyway, this is a... Uh, oh, right over here, can't really see. This is a... Uh, little statue I found perched atop uh, the marquee ja a sign of a jazz club. The jazz club is called Le Zebra. You can see the L and the E stylized with uh, zebra stripes. You see that? That's kind of fun. And uh, what I did was I enlarged this image using the grid system. And now I, I had to leave early yesterday, so I didn't 
advanced too much on here, but I managed to take the, all of the grit off, and now I'm going to uh, go ahead and spray it with something called a workable fixative, or uh, uh, what do they call it over here? Universal fixative. And so what that's going to do is it's going to uh, adhere the graphite of the pencil onto the page. Because uh, if not, I risk uh, erasing it with the heel of my hand. And also, I'm going to go over with these uh, special acrylic paint pens called Posca brand. And uh, they're felt tip uh, acrylic paint pens. And if you go over with the pencil, the pencil, the graphite tends to be uh, uh, sucked up into the filter tip of the pens and it freezes them. And, uh, it's no good. Because, uh, oh, let's see, what would it be like? Well, you know, if you have your regular felt tip pen and uh, if you uh, ran over some uh, pencil hatching, you would understand what effect I'm talking about. So to avoid that, I'm going to fix it. And then I'm going to go in and uh, define these lines a little better, a little more mm, boldly. And then the final step will be the acrylic and ink over the top of that. So what's going on with everyone today, huh? Um, let's see, this weekend, if you happen to be in Paris, we're having an open-air uh, collective exposition or exhibition on Montmartre at, uh, let me see if I can find the address. It's, uh, I thought it was called Place Burke, but as a matter of fact, when I saw the invitation the other day, it's organized by my buddy Noah, it um, seemed to be at a different uh, location than the one that I had thought that it was because there's a street called Burke but I don't see where the square would be it's uh it's B-U-R-K-U-Q and that's kind of funny because in French Burke B-E-U-R-K means yuck so it's yuck street but I don't think uh, that is what they intended when they named it but anyway it's going to be a, a, a festive event and I hope you can come it's called the Festival Artistique à Montmartre and it's this Sunday at 14 Rue Beck, yes, um, at, uh, begins at, uh, let's see if they have the time here for when it begins, because uh, it's uh, from 12.30 in the afternoon until 6 p.m. It's a festival, Artistic et Familial, and it's uh, sponsored by uh, an association called Van de Bocus. My buddy Nella is, uh, plays a big part in that. And uh, so it's 14 Rue Beck, and it says here that it's going to be an open-air ex exhibition, and it's going to take place in the Jardin. There could be 15 painters and photographs, and there's going to be musicians, uh, uh, theatrical people, dancers, and, uh, and a, a little workshop for kids. So I think it's going to be like little uh, activities for kids. And it's at the Jardin Louise Weber dit Le Guru, or called Le Guru, Louis, Louise Weber. So that's at 14 Rue Beck. So if you're in Paris, be sure to do that. Ce dimanche, il aura eu un... L'association Van de Bocus est fier de vous inviter à son festival artistique au cœur de Montmartre. Cet événement s'inscrit... Dans le cadre du projet Un été animé à Paris 18, soutenu pour la ville de Paris. Le temps euh, d'un après-midi, une exposition au ciel, ciel ouvert, prendre place, ouvert, prendre place euh, dans le jardin, et c'est pas moins de 15 peintres et photographes qui présentent, mais ce n'est pas qu'un S là, qui présenteront leur travail. En parallèle, musiciens, comédiens et danseurs se succéderont sur scène pour votre plus grand plaisir. Enfin, un atelier artistique sera proposé pour les plus jeunes d'entre nous. Cette journée donnera lieu à une rencontre entre les habitants et les artistes du coin, tout en permettant euh, aux gens de passage d'apprécier la richesse culturelle du quartier. Rendez-vous dès euh, midi 30 dans le jardin Louise Weber, dit Louise Weber, peut-être Weber, dit le goulou. Entre libre et voilà, c'est une fête. Donc, si vous êtes à Paris, n'hésitez pas de nous rejoindre là-bas ce dimanche. Ça sera 
Schwet. Now, um, does anyone have any questions? Okay, well, maybe I'll just go through this again. I was going to, actually, you know what? I'm kind of feeling a little Paulo Kelo. So if anyone can uh, give me a, a number between uh, 25 and, is it 157? Yes, 157. I'll read that page for you. It's a collection of just these little anecdotes. Uh, not anecdotes, but you know, otherwise I'm going to use the free coin method. I came out with 310, I believe. Okay, so we'll cut that. Well, maybe page, uh, no, let's cut it in half. So that would be 150, 155. Should we do that? Okay, one page 155. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, here we go. And Gary say que le fin ne justifie pas le moyen. So a warrior knows that the ends do not justify the means. Parce qu'il qu n'existe pas de fin. Il n'existe que de moyens. Because there is no end, there is only means. La vie le transporte de l'inconnu vers l'inconnu. Life um, carries you from mystery to mystery. Chaque minute est de ce passionate mystère. Every minute is uh, clothed, cloaked in this passionate mystery. Le guerrier ne sait pas d'où il vient, ni où il va. The warrior doesn't know um, where it comes from, nor where it's going. Mais il n'est pas ici par hasard. But he's not here by accident. But it's not here by accident. Et il se réjouit d'être surpris. Il s'enchante de découvrir des passages, paysages nouveaux. Um, and he uh, is uh, pleased to be surprised. He rejoices in being surprised. And he uh, is enchanted to discover new uh, landscapes. Souvent, il a peur, mais c'est normal chez un guerrier. Often he has fear, but that's normal for a warrior. Si il pense uniquement au bout de son voyage, il ne prêtera pas suffisamment attention aux signes de chemin. If he speak, if he thinks only uniquely about the uh, the destination of his voyage, he will not pay sufficient attention to the signs along the way, along the path. Si il se concentre Si s'il se concentre sur une seule question, il perdra maintes réponses qui se trouvent à sa portée. If he concentrates on only one question, he'll lose the uh, many responses that he, uh, uh, which are being uh, transmitted to him or carried to him. Aussi le guerrier se donne-t-il tout entier. The warrior as well gives himself entirely. Voila, a little bit of Paolo Kelo from the Manual de Guerriere de la Lumière. Well, that's good, okay. So. Many miles away, there's a shadow on the door of a cottage on the shore of a dark Scottish love. everyone for stopping by i sure it was pleasant to see you all again today and i hope you enjoyed that and uh we're looking forward to seeing how this progresses aren't we all right ciao for now